So this lab, we're working primarily with orthoses, so people that have, um, technically have limbs where might be going into someone who has spinal cord injury and doesn't have a limb, mm -hmm. something like that. But um, people that have mobility issues, either from stroke or spinal cord injury, um, we're trying to make rehabilitation devices so that they could get up and walk. Um, we're also working with electrical stimulation so we could stimulate nerves and muscles. But after breaking my back and realizing that I, I might not ever be able to walk again, and in part due to under underrepresentation of these, you know, people with spinal cord injury in the medical field, um, and also just lack of technology, I guess, to get people up and walking again, as far as whatever like re regenerative technology or something. I'm sure it'll be done one day, but currently it seems like it's lacking a lot. Uh, so, so the expectation of somebody after spinal cord injury is that they're not going to walk again usually. So yeah, my goal is to make Indigo kind of like a, a standard exercise machine for spinal cord injured people, you know, something that you'll get in daily or how, however often you want to get in it. So it's interesting trying to balance and also trying to get a clean step. So um, it, it's also a workout on my arms cause, to balance it, but uh, it's it's an interesting experience. Um, it's uh, exciting trying to learn how to how to cooperate with the robot. Still, it's like an exercise machine. You know, you still have to get into it and and use it. And, you know, you have to have that drive in yourself. But if you do, I think it can make them a lot healthier. You know, it could reduce number of complications that come up with spinal cord injury and um, just give people better quality of life just because their health is so much better.